Hello guys. Uh, so let's get on to the topic. So the problem is uh, I work with React Native and I use Android emulator to test my applications while I'm on development. But the very sad thing is that uh, the uh, Android emulator for some reason it's very laggy, it's difficult to use. Doesn't matter how much RAM or processing power capacity you have, it's still very laggy. Uh, but uh, so the obvious option would be to upgrade your PC or do something like that. But here uh, I have a PC which has a i5 processor, fourth gen, and uh, I have around like a 16 GB of RAM. At least I should have a decent experience. Doesn't matter. I don't. Uh, I have a high-end experience. But I should have at least somewhat decent experience when I do work with the emulators. So what happened here? You can see there is one, there are two devices I have created here. We have Pixel 3 a, API 13. This is the one I used to work with, which is very laggy. I can barely use this application, like I can barely use this emulator. Whenever I work on my application or do anything, it's very difficult to work with. You can see how much lag it is taking, it's making. But actually, this is not a problem with your hardware or this is not something, an issue with your operating system or something. Uh, this is an issue with the way you create the Android emulator because if you go to, uh, if you go to create a new Android emulator, doesn't matter you pick you Pixel 7 or Pixel 8 or something, what happens is, doesn't matter whatever device you pick, you think that you if you pick a Pixel 7, Pixel 7 might have like 6 GB of RAM by default allocated. But if you click on Pixel 7 uh, and and if you see here, you see by default that device is only having uh, 2 GB of RAM allocated. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this to GB and I'm going to allocate around 6 GB of RAM. So in my case, I have 16 GB of RAM in my system. Uh, I do React Native development. I don't need more than six, uh, 3 GB for my you know, React Native development. Uh, so I can allocate 6 and I still have 10 GB of RAM. Uh, so I'm selecting 6 GB of RAM and I'm setting the resolution and everything is fine for me. Uh, and also a pro tip, uh, if you want uh, to like, if you want to have an even better experience with your uh, emulator and you have a very low on PC, you can disable uh, these sensors, accelerometer, gyroscope, GPS and proximity sensor. These don't take much, but I think if you want to uh, like take advantage of every last uh, drop of performance in your CPU, you can disable these things so uh, the emulator won't spend resources on managing these stuffs. So what we have done is we have increased the RAM and everything else is fine. If you uh, press uh, this, if you press on finish, you can see as soon as you make an edit to an emulator, by default the Play Store is gone. You won't have any uh, Google Play services in this application. I will show you what I mean by that. So now I've selected, I have changed the RAM capacity and go to next. Then I'm selecting the Android version. R is fine with me. So then I again, I come back to the final place. Here, what we need to do is, if I don't know how this is working for you, I use Linux. And uh, I don't know how exactly these settings are going to affect you in Windows or Mac. But for me, setting this to hardware uh, gives much better performance than with setting to automatic or software. Sorry guys, I it really don't know why. What, what does that do? But then what we need to do is we need to go to the show advanced settings. Here you can see, again, the RAM is being set back to 2 gigabytes. That's not enough. So okay, I'm clicking here on GB, I'm setting it to 6, I'm going to provide 6 GB of RAM and we heap, I can provide 1 GB because I have the capacity, but if you don't have that much of RAM, let's say you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, you can set like 3 or 4 to the, uh, 4 gigabytes to the memory storage, so that for the RAM and you can provide like 256 MB for the virtual machine heap. 
that will be fine. Here I have plenty of RAM, so that's why I'm providing. Uh, but if you have a PC which has like four gigabytes of RAM, I think we still can make something out of it. But I would suggest you some using something like Jenny Motion. Uh, it ha it is very much better. It's smooth and runs better. But what happens is Jenny Motion doesn't have free support for camera and microphone. So if if your application uh uh, requires uh, working with uh, camera or microphone you don't have the flexibility there and unless you make a buy a paid purchase but let's go with this one here you can see i have uh, allocated 6 gb of ram i'm allocating uh, some uh, one gigabyte so to the vm heat after that everything else is fine i can uh, press on finish uh, I, now the new uh, edited pixel 7 you will be able to see it, uh, launch it. But still, uh, the Pixel 7 will have some issues when I'm doing the screen sharing. But for some reason, when I record the screen, uh, no matter how much I optimize it, it still have the lag. I think something to do with my uh, like my operating system and the graphics trail. But you can see it's much smoother. It's much better than what we had with Pixel 3. You can see, you can see I'm running Pixel 7. It's a high-end smartphone. I'm trying to emulate, but uh, emulate, but it is working much smoother than the Pixel 3a. That is because we have allocated less resources to that. So the uh, if your if your uh, requirement is to have a speedy emulator, who doesn't care about the Google Play service, you can end your video right here and go back to what you're doing right now. But if you're a person who have to work with an application which requires the Play service, uh, I will net, let's see how much fast it is. You can see how fast it's working. It's smooth, almost, uh, it's, it's at least usable. And you can see it's at, at least usable. Uh, so now what we can do is we need to have the Play services. For example, I'm developing an application right now which requires the play services to do some identification uh, like an app similar to uh, cam scanner and adobe scan it's and it's trying out so one of the plugins that i'm using requires google play services i think when you work with multiple libraries you need to have some of those things here so now that is what we are going to do next we need to have the google play services installed so for that what we can do is we have to this is why I don't know why I have to do this, but just you should not just close it. You have to first shut it down. Uh, only in that way, these things will work. And also, uh, you and also before that, you also need to have a uh, what to say. You like you can see here. I have the API thirty, so we also need to have a, a default installation. Like no nothing. You have to go here. Select whatever the um, phone you have selected. So let's say Excel 7. You have to just create a stock one just like that. Select the R plus nice. Don't make any changes. Create an exact emulator like this. But it should have the same API. API 30 API. It doesn't matter what, uh, what device you are using. The API version should be the same. I will let you know why that is the case. So you can see now the emulator has been turned off. Now I can remove the term emulator. I can stop it entirely. So it, it has been stopped. So what I need to do next is if it, I have to click on these dots and I have to see show on disk. So this will open my uh, explorer. Here you can see there's a find con, uh, config.ini. So I have to make two changes here. First you can see uh, the Play Store is disabled. So turn this value from false to true. Then you can see there are there is like uh, so there is a way these things are being stored in our system. So whatever is related to Android API 11.30, it is stored in a specific place. So when we create this uh, Pixel 3a, which is a, I would say, we created in a way that it was intended to be created. So when we do that, this folder will be there. There will be an API 30 folder which has Play Store files. 
Uh, sorry guys, I, I don't know how to access it right now. I'm just making this video because I was facing this issue right now. So I didn't, I was not able to find any videos. So what we need to do is just add underscore they do. So you, what you need to do is you need to add, uh, you need to update this uh, URL here. You have to change the Play Store enable stuff. Then you have, you can save this. After you save it, you can run it again. And the emulator will launch. See, but like seeing it smoothly running itself I would say it's a nice thing because I was like oh, I was working with this laggy Android emulator for a uh, for like three years now in that to find the connect that's fine you anyway started right Okay, now you can see that we have the Play Store. We have Play Store and we have Play Store services. Okay. So, like, apart from the initial thing, you can see it's very much responsive now. Much responsive and uh, I think it works better right now. You can see it. If I go to Play Store. And also, uh, once you have... Uh, install these things don't make sure that you open the play store app because currently that play store app is an old one you have to open it then only it will get updated to the latest version you can see there's a i think it's updated okay all right i think you have to give it some time it's not still now it looks like still an old version but that's it guys, that's how we will have a smooth experience in the application. I don't know why this is, why they are doing like this. Why Android Studio is setting uh, the RAM to that much to do. But the issue is, when we uh, by default they are setting it to 2 gigabytes. doesn't matter whatever the uh, version you are using, they are still setting it to the lowest version, lowest uh, RAM option. So by changing that and doing this, you will have a perfectly working the uh, device or uh, it in your hand uh, sorry for the messy video guys I actually uh, I've been struggling with this because I, an application that I was working uh, requires a lot of uh, precision so I cannot go out precise on this kind of settings. so I was going through the internet I was not able to find any proper video and there was some videos I got some ideas from some videos but I didn't have everything in one video, so I thought I'd make one myself and have uh, have it for you guys. Um, if uh, if somebody still has a doubt, you can just let uh, me know in the comments. If uh, so many people have started to asking for clarification, I'll make another video. But I'll make sure that that video won't be messy like this. Thank you, guys.